Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Because I'm just looking like this thing, like they've been trying to sell it since July of last year. So they just really don't need to sell it, it sounds like. Oh, no, it's not been trying to sell since last year. Uh, no, it's not that long, but yeah. Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You've been asleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E I flip houses, rent cars, and make money You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy This how we do He must don't really need to sell it Or maybe he living in a property That may be what it is Something going on here Cause like he must not be that motivated with, From what I'm seeing But we gotta talk to the agent Tap, tap in Hello. Hi, Danielle. Who speak? Who's calling? Yeah, this is Chris. I'm calling about a listing you have on Saint Celeste and Florissant. I was trying to see if that's still available. Yes, it is. Good, good. Did you have a couple moments? Yes. Go ahead. Great. Yeah, I was interested in purchasing it, and uh, I was just trying to see is there something wrong with it or something that I'm not aware of. Looks like it's been listed for quite a while. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -mm, it's really in uh, perfect condition. Really good. Are you an investor? I am an investor. Yes, ma'am. Do you think this will be good for an investment property? Uh, it depends on what you want to do it for. If you want to rent it out or um, or um, Section 8 or whatever. But yes, it's a, it's a, a pretty big home. So it's, it's uh, family oriented. Oh, okay. Environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for is uh, we do buy and hold. We do uh, fix and flip some properties, but we've been doing more holding lately. We do pay cash. Okay. And, uh, you know, we try to buy it and make it an easy transaction. Um, have you had a lot of interest in this one so far? Or? Uh, yes, I've been having a couple people post, uh, be submit, submitting an offer soon. So, yes, I was looking forward to that. Um, now, uh, what company are you with? Yeah, I'm with St. Louis Cash Buyers. And uh, like I say, we okay for cash all over St. Louis. Um, sometimes we do, um, we just try to make it a, a smooth transaction for the whole thing. So for this one here, um, you know, as being an investor, as you may know, we may not pay exactly top dollar. Uh, we do try mm -hmm. to get a little discount. I'm not saying we have to kill them or anything on the price, but we do try to still make it where uh, it makes sense. Um, for something like this, okay. I mean, okay. it, I mean, we'd probably be closer to around one hundred and fifty thousand mark. You think they would take something like that? Mm, nope, mm -mm. he's yep. not interested in that. That would be too low. Yeah, too low for him. <laughs> no, that's like you already know. Don't even waste your time, huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, what that's pretty too low for him. Yeah. Yeah, what I will say though, sometimes we are able to uh, get a higher purchase price, probably right at the two hundred and twelve that you have on there. If we're able to get a little more creative, have you looked into taking any offers as far as like a creative offer, uh, something like a seller finance type deal or something like that? He's he's not interested in that either. Oh wow, why why not? Yeah. Because he doesn't want to be tied to the mortgage. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. He he wants to be able to move and and be clear of it. Oh, okay. So he's not interested in that either. Yeah, because mm -hmm. some people interested. have call you about really that. Need to sell it then. It sound like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So no, he's not interested in that. Sorry. <laughs> Do you have any other? That's why I was going. That was that was the first. That was the first question I was going to ask you. Uh, are you trying to do a sell of finance? If you're trying to do a sell of finance, he's not interested. So he's been presented an offer like that already, I guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he said, "No way, Jose. I'm done. I don't want it." Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. Because I'm just looking like this thing. Like they've been trying to sell it since July of last year, so they just really don't need to sell it. It sounds like. Oh uh, no, it's not been trying to sell since last year. Uh, no, it's not that long, but yeah. 
Actually, yeah, because I'm looking in my notes. Looks like I submitted an offer to a different agent on this property back in July of 2023. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't with you then. Okay. Yeah, they've been trying to sell this house for a oh, very okay. long time. But nevertheless, do you have any mm -hmm. other properties that, uh, you know, that would be interested in a cash offer or even something more creative? Um, nope, at the moment, nope. This market is kind of tight. Really? Yeah, because we specialize in uh, stopping foreclosure for people and different things like that. So we get really creative and really make sure you get your commission, your client gets their property sold. And we solve the whole problem all the way around where everybody's happy at the end. Oh, okay, yeah. I understand. I heard of you guys before. So, yeah, um, you've been around for a while. Have you been doing it for a while? Yeah, I've been doing I've been buying real estate since 2018. If that's a long time, but not really. There's people that have been. In oh, the well, yes, that's a, yeah, that's enough time to, to, to see the roller coaster. Yes, that's enough time to lose <laughs> some money, ain't it? No. <laughs> Yeah, to, exactly. Mm -hmm. say, bump your head a few times. You learn <laughs> yes. stuff real quick. Don't know exactly the roller coaster. Yes. Uh huh. Do you normally work? Yeah. With so uh, I work with investors. I work with. I do both. Um, right now, I, I'm dealing with a lot of investors right now, but uh, from not in the state still. So, but yeah, yeah. The investors are. Uh, or y'all buying up everything. <laughs> well, we're, well, we're just trying to solve the problems for people. You know what I mean? That's, that's my biggest thing. They have a problem with their real estate. Mm -hmm. Sell it. I want to buy it. We figure a way to solve that problem. Um, so I guess for the mm -hmm. less, there's no reason for me to even send over anything for you to present to them at all. That would be a waste of time. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, I I, I hate for you to waste your your time. But yes, he's not he's not interested in nothing like that. Okay. No problem. Um, okay. Other than that, I'll yep, I'd rather be honest with you. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather be honest with you. Yeah, and I pre appreciate that. Yeah. I'm just do y'all do? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, he's not. He's he's not trying to move too far, too much. I know that's right, because I know we could definitely get him an offer that mm -hmm. nobody can beat. You know, because I because it looks like we offered him. Right. You got it listed for right now, and put you know get them out of that payment and everything but i guess they don't mind making it every month they're good mm -hmm. yeah he, he yeah he does he's not trying to go for anything outside but a straight straight um sale by offer what do you think they would take as far as a cash offer what is the lowest purchase price you think i couldn't tell you that um i really can't tell you that so yeah um but I'm not, he's not moving too much. I know that's right. Well, uh, good luck mm -hmm. with it. I hope that listing works out. And like I said, if you come across anything that looks good for an investor or anything funky, like a foreclosure or, or probates, anything that's like, wow, this is too much stress, bring it on over. We'll figure a way to solve it and make sure you get compensated as well. Okay, sounds good. Oh, Thank you. All right, I'll send you a text after this call with my contact information. Other than that, you have a good day, okay? You too. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Yeah, it's not even the agent on that one. That's more so the seller. I'm going to send her a text just so she got my information. So I know I spoke to her before. And uh, let's see, any questions, comments, concerns in here before we get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? What up, what up, Jen, the closer? What up, Emily? So today we've been calling some live on-market deals. We got one fish on the hook right now. Well, I'm going to be sending an LOI. You say people are stubborn. You cannot make them sell the house, though, Shelly. You cannot make a person sell you their house. We just follow up with them. We drip on them, and we keep it moving. So, I mean, that house isn't even all that. I mean, the marketplace is telling you no. They've been trying to sell this house since July. That agent didn't know that, even though I just told her that. And she's like, oh, it ain't been up that long. Yeah, it's been up that long because I offered on this back in July of 2023 at 219 back then. And he said no. Then I offered another 213 and they said no. Today is listed at 212 and he's still probably saying no. And it's a VA loan because the first agent that had it told me all those details back then when I tried to buy it. Uh, let's see here. 
The agents have even gotten sick of the squirreling. Exactly. How far is that from Cape Girardeau? Sounds like a good short-term rental. This is in St. Louis. This is Florissant. This is houses in a hot market right here in sunny St. Louis. Hot market. Uh, let's see here. No motivation. Keep her on the roster. Uh, yes, people are stubborn. It just seems like he he wants to move. He doesn't want to move at all. Made an offer, and so would they move on. So this is what I'm going to do. The only thing at this point, I could send that seller a piece of mail to to see his motivation. Spend a little 40, 50 cent, whatever it costs for mail these days, a dollar, whatever. Send him a postcard or some mail and see if he responds back to my postcard. That'll tell you if he's motivated. Because he's been on the market, like I say, on and off for a long time. He might say, oh, I got some mail. This might be a sign. Let's call it up and see what they'll give me for the house. Now I'm direct to seller. And now I can gauge his motivation to figure out why aren't you taking this creative deal? Because that's really the real question. What is stopping you from taking it? And then when he brings that objection, when he brings the objection, that's the time we can annihilate that. He wants to be clear of the loan. Okay, I hear you there. But you would be clear of the loan because we were taking it over. You no longer have to make that payment. But I can't say that to the agent because that's an agent. I need to talk to the seller. That's why I'm usually direct to seller. Usually. That's why I like to get direct to seller. I don't have all this extra red tape. Even though she's not really running interference, but it could. I don't understand why it's been on for a year and they're still keeping it. Yeah, because he don't have no pain. The pain may have not set in yet. And I don't even know how that agent don't know that's been up since last summer. Why do they not know that? That tell you the agent ain't even doing their work. Because I'm looking at my email. I actually sent an offer to Daryl, which was the first off agent. I sent an offer to Terry, which was the second agent. And I just got off the phone with Danielle, which is the third agent for the same raggedy house that's still on sale. You said lazy agent. Ooh, you said it, not me. Lazy. That's lazy. You don't even know what property you list. But some people don't care. They just get, oh, I'll throw it on the MLS for you and see what we can get for it. You've done everything but solve the problem. The question of the day for the seller though is this, y'all ready? What happens if you don't sell it? Now I could have asked the agent that, but she probably don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't like all that, I don't know. That's why I like to get direct to seller. I don't, I don't take that answer. I get a real answer from these people. What happens, Mr. Seller, if you don't sell the house? What happens? Now, whatever they tell you that happens, that's some of your ammunition you use to close them with. That's some of your ammunition. Apparently nothing. You say nothing gonna happen. The agent has done nothing to get it sold. Well, I mean, only thing she can do is adjust the price and present the offers. What else can the agent do? I can't really blame the agent because we know the seller's stubborn. He wouldn't even talk to me back when I had the first agent with Daryl or whatever his name was. Terry, Terry didn't know what to do with it. She waited waited 30 days and she got it off her listing. She said, I ain't finna sit up and have this sitting on me. And then this lady here has had it up since, I don't know, a little while. So same stupid house, 126 days on this listing. They say it's been up 126 days. But we know it's been longer than that. He just playing, moving right along next deal next victim so hopefully this video helped you out if you're over here on instagram i'm streaming live on youtube as well um and facebook yeah, give this video a thumbs up give it a like give it a share if you care um, that helps the algorithm trigger it move it up i'm actually streaming on rumble too i forgot i'm on rumble for the first time what up rumble fam i forgot i was even on rumble i heard about it i said let me go see what rumble's about it's kind of like youtube but a little different so we are streaming live on multiple platforms right now and uh, we've been talking to sellers so i guess uh if you are looking for more training to learn how to do this type of stuff like i said check out futurecashflowclub.com to get the paperwork to make the paperwork actually how to structure these deals how to get everything going uh beyond this because it's just an initial call we don't know what's going to happen when we talk to these people in an initial call they may want to play ball they may have to be in the follow-ups they might want to be one of those you whack I say forget them they ain't doing that we don't know but if somebody does show any inclination that they are motivated and they are curious and they do want an offer we send them an offer a cash offer and a creative offer at a minimum automatically cash offer 
low ball or below retail, and then a creative offer that's probably closer to what they're asking. And many times we can play what they're asking depending on how we structure the deal. So I hope this helped you out. I will see you on the next one. Any other questions, comments, concerns before we roll? Let's see here. Uh, why did she just shut down instead of presenting whatever you have? Because she know the seller's janky. She know the seller is, is no nonsense. No, not interested, don't want to play ball. Which I know it. I know because I've been dealing with it myself, but it didn't hurt me. It was good for training, but it was just a conversation. And she said she heard of us. She ain't heard of us. That lady lied, but I ain't going to say that. She did, though. How many calls do you typically have to make to get land one lead? Hmm, good question. Um, depending on the type of calls, we say generally about 10. About 10. But that depends on who we calling. Are we calling vacant? properties are we calling uh tired landlords are we calling um on market listings like that we can get a lead real quick on the on market all we need is the agent that's cooperative to want to at least present our offer some agents don't want to present the offer kind of like that lady um we could be talking to people that are in pre-foreclosure that's my favorite type because they got a gun at her head saying pow if you don't sell now we're gonna take your house so it depends on who we're talking to, but give, give or take about 10. But then when we get the lead, what are we going to do? We're going to get it popping. Thank you for this excellent and uh, a helpful and useful live. Thank you, Dietrich. Good to see you. Appreciate you. So I will see y'all on the next one. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you say me. Can you hear me? I don't know. If you don't know who I am by now, I don't know what you've been doing. You been sleep? Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O-E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no mother dummy. This how we do. So I want to get into real estate, but don't know where to start. Well, what I would say is to join the Future Cash Flow Club. It's a community of investors where we talk about wholesaling, we talk about creative deal structuring, buying houses subject to, all of the creative stuff that everybody's talking about. You don't need a real estate license or any of that. Wow, where do I sign up? Well, I would say go to futurecashflowclub.com. That's futurecashflowclub.com. You can even get a free trial. Try it out today. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. That's the MLS for your real estate agents. Absentee owner information. Find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide. Pull a pre foreclosure list. And don't forget, you got to find those comps. Get nationwide access with multiple filters powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven day free trial today. WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you cold call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more all automated. You don't have to remember anything, just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com.